It's a wig! Hello dolls, it is She and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this wig. Yes, this is a dreaded wig, honey. I will sit some hair by Sam's Beauty. Again, I'm partnering with them. They sent me their um, Natty Goddess Dreadlocks and these are the crochet locks in 16 inch. They only came in 16 inch and they sent me six bags of those locks and I used all six bags for this look. This is a half wig with crochet braids in the front. I did exactly one pack of the crochet braids in the front which is 24 crochet braids. So if you would like to see how I got this Slade Goddess Lock wig, then you know what to do. Keep on watching. All right, first you wanna start with your two wig caps. I'm going to explain later why you need two. You wanna make sure you have your crochet needle, and then of course you wanna make sure you have your crochet faux locks. And then I'm gonna take that first cap. The first cap is an actual wig construction cap. So this is gonna be the foundation for my um, wig. And the holes on this cap is way too small to actually crochet through, hence the second wig cap. But this one is, um, it has the lace in the front that you can easily cut off, and it is perfect for making a half wig. I'm just gonna go ahead and secure that with a couple of T-pins onto my mannequin head. Now I'm taking the actual neck cap and I'm putting that right on top and this is the cap that we're actually going to crochet the threads through, crochet the dreads through, excuse me. And then we're going to secure both of the caps together just with needle and thread to make a more secure wig and then you, once you cut off the lace in the front you don't have to worry about anything unraveling because everything is sewn together. Now you wanna start crocheting your locks. I've already crocheted a few onto the cap, as you can see here. And you just wanna make sure that you are laying the locks in a brick pattern. So you wanna make sure you lay the one on top in between the two on the bottom. You don't want them to be stacked right on top of each other because then that's when you get gaps in your wig. You just wanna make sure that is you're laying them in a brick pattern if that makes any sense. Um, I don't know if I need to go into too much detail as far as how to crochet, but you just simply stick the crochet needle through. Um, I grab two holes just to make sure that it's a little more secure. One hole can be a little flimsy. You wanna stick that um, hook through those two holes. Then you want to attach the dread, close the latch, pull the dread through the holes, open the latch. You wanna pull the end of the dread through that loop, and then you just want to um, slide it and make sure that it is secure on the wig. And then you just continue this up the wig. This is where I'm at so far. And then I'm gonna show you how I close it up. Again, I'm just going through and just laying those dreads in a brick pattern um, all throughout the wig and make sure that I'm closing it up completely. I'm not gonna leave any gaps um, here. This wig is not gonna be a U part or anything. I'm literally going to crochet the dreads all the way down to the front of the band. Now the wig is complete, and now you wanna go ahead and take it off of the mannequin head and cut that lace off of the front. Now to prep my hair, I just braided my hair in two braids in the back, and then I'm gonna pin those up and put a stocking cap right over top of that, and I've left the front of my hair out, as you can see, to start braiding those so that we can start installing the individual crochet locks. The wig is gonna go on the back, and then you just wanna take random pieces of hair. It should not be perfect. I don't like for mine to be parted perfect for my dreads because it looks more natural when they are not. I just take a small section and then just start braiding that down, maybe about three-fourths of the way, and just continue that um, throughout my head. I kept in mind that each pack had 24 locks in it, so I only had one pack left, and I wanted to do exactly 24 um, braids in the front of my head, so I just split that down the middle and did 12 and 12 on each side. And you just want to continue that until the entire front of your hair is 
braided as such. Now you wanna take your half wig. As you can see, I have went ahead and put combs in it and then I have the elastic band that came on the wig cap that secures it. You just wanna secure the bottom, putting the comb inside um, of that braid and then you wanna secure the front by tucking that right underneath that stocking cap and then I have two more combs on the side just to make sure it goes nowhere. Now I'm taking my Natty Locks and I am just gonna um, crochet one at a time. Here you just wanna take the crochet needle and stick it through the base of your braid and then you want to crochet that lock through the base of your braid and then you want to create a secure knot right there at the base by um, pulling that tight and then just pulling the, the dread in your hair in the opposite direction now this part can get a little tricky now you want to unravel the lock and start re-raveling it around that braid if that makes any sense you really have to feel the lock to see which direction it ravels in as you can see I'm kind of just massaging the lock to try to figure out where exactly is it unraveling and I unravel it and then re-ravel it around my hair if that makes any sense if you are doing this incorrectly you will know because once you let it go it won't snap back into a dread it'll kind of unfold on itself which means that you just wrapped it the wrong way which means you just need to go back and wrap it the opposite direction to which you wrapped it to begin with here i'm just zooming in so you can see that process again i'm just sticking again um the crochet hook through and then i am um, um sticking that thread through at the base of my braid, securing that knot, and then again, unraveling that dread in the opposite direction, and then re-raveling it right around my hair. I like to hold my braid um, at the base and then just wrap the dread around my braid, <clears throat> keeping the braid still so that it's not creating too much pressure on your um, on the base of your hair from you wrapping it. Because I have fine hair and then my hair easily snaps. So you just want to make sure you hold it. As you can see with that one hand, I'm holding my braid steady and just going around the braid with the opposite hand. Um, wrapping that dread around and that's pretty much it here I'm about to show you another technique in case you don't want to do the whole unraveling and re-raveling I am going to stick this through the same way <clears throat> securing it at the base of that braid by creating that little knot but instead of unraveling the dread and raveling it back around um, that piece of hair I'm actually going to take the crochet needle through the dread opened and then I'm going to at the very end grab my hair latch it onto the crochet hook and then pull it through as you can see it pulled right through there for the remaining that's left you just want to stick it through again once you get to the top latch your hair and pull it straight through so if the raveling and unraveling is too difficult for you you can always use this technique now I am taking my Blueberry Bliss Edge Control. I absolutely love this and laying down my edges now that all of the dreads are secure. And if you hear munching, my dog is like going to town on her bone in the background. So please excuse that. But here I'm just slicking down my edges, just creating a little bit of baby hair just so it looks a little more sleek. And this is pretty much the finished look. You just want to add some jewels on. And I'll have a separate video on how it is that I adorn my goddess locks and where I got the jewelry and the different type of jewels that I use. And this is the finished look dolls. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, I will link everything below as to where to get these Natty Locks. They're only $6.99 a pack. And if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you dolls in my next video.